Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's For Days World and I am Deb Chanel. We're getting a salacious story tonight on or from Reality T. Okay, that's right. Um, it's not a person's name, so I'm going to say a staff writer over there at Reality TV or Reality T. They dropping us a hint of a story. It's titled Be Scott. Confirms Nene leaks leaked card she sent to Cynthia Bailey. Okay, I done it. They don't brought B Scott out. Yes, they don't bought him out, and he is swinging in the streets. Okay, he lends. He's basically saying, "Let Nene come on with the lies. Come on now, let Le uh, Nene leaks come on with the lies, so I can bust her up on side of her head with the truth." Okay. The armor of the truth of the truth is the truth. Okay, the truth will set you free. That's what B. Scott is claiming to fame. If Nene mentions her name one more time. Yes, that's B. Scott over there. She has her own column uh, that she writes for under her name and or his name. And he's doing that darn thing. And when he came out, or somebody told him Nene was talking about him, child, he came on to the social media world. And let have. He's saying he got stories on top of stories on top of stories for Nene Lee's. And it's not Kenya Moore that leaked the um uh, little postcard or little uh card she had gave Nene. B. Scott said, uh-uh. That ammunition came from Nene Leaks Camp and Nene Leaks allowed it to be leaked. Yes, honey, go on over to her dot com column columnless show. Oh, I catch her on her podcast, honey. Yes, she is taking up for her as well as Kenya Moore saying no. She is not the spade in this deck of cards we're playing. Nene Leaks is the one you should be looking at. Let's get on into the story, honey. Like I said, it's from realitytea.com. It says, B. Scott confirms Nene Leaks leaked card she sent to Cynthia Baden. The story was brought out today, which is Thursday, January 9th. It goes in to say, when Cynthia Bailey read that eloquently written card that Nene Leakes sent her, I had two thoughts. First of all, there is no way that Nene actually wrote that note herself. Second of all, she is so desperate to get back into this group, i.e., for example, secure that Bravo paycheck while she was on the outs with the whole cast. When the note mysteriously leaked on B. Scott's website, Nene pointed the finger at Kenya Moore. Yes. But why would Kenya do that? The card makes Nene look good and Kenya hates Nene. It makes no sense. Nene denied knowing B. Scott and says she doesn't like or doesn't talk to bloggers. Okay. That could not be any further from the truth. And B. Scott is weighing in on this, y'all. Now we have come from well, now we have confirmation straight from the source himself, B. Scott, that Nene's camp did leak the note. Let's go back again, honey. Let's read that one more time for clarity. Now we have confirmation straight from the source, B. Scott, that Nene's camp did leak the note. Bossop did the Lord's work. By listening to B. Scott podcast and transcribing the best parts. Bossop quote B. Scott saying, I'm going to point the finger and just say Nene's a liar. She is a liar. Liar, liar, pass a liar. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, no, that wasn't in there. That was just me being funny. Okay, then it says, tell us something we don't know. Okay, this is when he really went in. Like Nene's titty. In Toronto, the truth always pops out. Okay, number one, if you say my name a couple of times, I have to appear. That's B. Scott is saying this. You have summoned me. You a lying ass itch that offended me. That's number one. Number two, she goes on to make it seem like bloggers are beneath her, like bloggers are lowly. He even declared, you are a reality star at best. Not that there's anything wrong with being a reality star. 
star in general but nini's attitude really doesn't line up with the tepid success of ventures outside of the show child she trying to uh shade nini said nini ain't got too much going on on these side little hustles she got bravo pays her bread and butter and allows her to live the way she lives if bravo check went out the window we don't know where Nene might be. She might have to downsize that house. Close some of them swag boutiques. And I don't think she's doing anything else other than the swags and Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? Y'all, it's fat check. Let me know. But I think that's all she really do. She just go and make uh, appearances here and there on the talk shows. I don't know if they pay her or not. And she runs her boutiques. She has three of them. Hopefully they're being lucrative for her. Or she's just funneling her money from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I can't really call it right now. But that's just my sidebar. Let's get back on into the article. It says. Um, okay. B. Scott shared. She does talk to bloggers. But she oftentimes talks to bloggers without my reach. And she talks to bloggers that don't have any other exclusive information ever other than the lies that she tells her. This man is mad. We talking about B. Scott. He also has a lot of dirt on Nene. Okay. And he's holding him back. That's a pretty picture of B. Scott. Imitating a woman. And that's her imitating a woman. But I think she's seen as both. I'm not really sure though. But that's just my pun intended. Not in this article. They said that um, B. Scott is mad. He also has a lot of dirt on Nene. That he's holding back for now. Their relationship goes back a decade. Okay. Not a century. But a decade. Meaning 20 years. All right. He said I knew Nene when she had her first set of teeth. And her first face. All right, then. The shade, honey. The shade. Honey, I am living for it. He continued, I have a years of text messages. Years. I went back to look at my phone and, and it was so much. Me and Nene, I felt as though we were still friends. Because only a friend would hold certain information that I'm holding right now. He's alleging. Okay. That I was asked not to put it out. All right. Should I light her ass up right now? Should I drop a nuclear bomb? Mm, I don't know, honey. You might need to drop them receipts, girl. You might need to drop them receipts so it can all be kosher. That's my sidebar. Not in this article. It says this e this isn't even about the note. This is about something else. Yes, drop that bomb. We are ready. In regard to that car specifically, B. Scott said, "You know who leaked the notes? All right, someone from Nene's team. If they want to press me, I will punish or I will publish those receipts. So pretty much." Uh, B. Scott saying, keep pressing on that gas. Keep riding down the street. I done told you to detour before you crash. You keep on coming this way. I'm finna blow you up. I'm finna set the uh, receipts out on the streets. And it's going to be like, let have, let have, let have. Okay. And, t and Team Nene as well as Nene will blow up in flames. That's what she's saying. That's what B. Scott is saying around here. Okay. But she says, if they want to press me, I will publish those receipts. There's nothing worse I hate than a liar. Publish those receipts. Okay. He wasn't done. B. Scott said, I think she's a lying scallywag. Nene leaks. It came from that team. Like Kenya said, why would she leak something positive about Nene? Exactly. Thank you. And if it wasn't clear enough, he also had to say this. If my name comes out of that itches mouth again in a way that's derogatory or disrespectful, I'm going to light that arse up. Lanithia is going to be on fire. Fire. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Fire, mm, 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 mm. Oh, when she walks, she talks, really shuts me out. She's dynamite, yeah. Yes, she is. 
<laughs> okay, that's just my pun intended. All right, then it goes on to say, I am here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I hear am, and here I am, hoping the name B. Scott comes out of Nini's mouth again. I just want to see the consequences of that. Tell us what you think about Nini leaking that card to make herself look good. Are you surprised? What information do you think B. Scott is withholding about Miss Nini leaks? Okay. Those are the questions that Reality T had put out on the subject that B. All right. I'm like, girl, okay. I ain't never known B. Scott got to lie you know she gets her go gossip entertainment and she definitely facts checks everything because she don't want any litigation so i really do find her as or him as a real credible source from what i've heard and seen in the past okay she fine checks, she double checks, she triple checks before she puts story out there. Now, whether Nene like her, whether Nene talked to bloggers or not, B. Scott saying she does. She's pretty much debunked it for us. And those who can hear, hear. Those who can see, see what she is trying to say. But what do y'all think? I personally think, I am told you. I think Kenya did it still. And if Nene did do it or she let her staff do it, uh, why she just didn't drop it out prior to, you know, Cynthia even receiving it? Or why didn't it just come out the same day that, you know, she received the gift? I don't know, because this was like a day after, I do believe, uh, instead of it just coming out that same day. Then it would have been a plausible cause that, okay, Nene did drop her own tea. But this was like a couple of days later or a day later after, you know, Cynthia had got proposed to. She received her ring, all her accolades and all this stuff. And then the next day or a couple of days afterwards, the note surfaced on a blogger's site, which was um, Love B. Scott's uh, Blossom, uh, Gossip site uh, column vlogging site that she had. Um, information or she was privy to information of the little card that nini had wrote out to cynthia and the note read uh verbatim or straight like how nini wrote it it was just a carbon copy of it so to me it's like it's neither here nor there and i get what they were saying about why would kenya send something in nice to any blogger site for them to reprint it uh, I'm like, you know, it, it's really neither here nor there because Kenny's going to do crazy and wild stuff and then he's going to do crazy and wild stuff. It's just the, the point is, can we catch them when they're doing the foul act? You know what I'm saying? But it's just interesting that B. Scott would come on up in the camp and say what she needed to say. I was like, girl, here, go ahead. Man, woman, speak your truth. Oh, God, speak your truth. Let us all hear it so we can try to make or ascertain uh, some uh, or decipher some sense of all of this that's going on. But she's pretty much said, Nene Lisa, if you open up your mouth one more time in a derogatory or unflattering way, meaning B. Scott, honey, she's going to go in her archives of information. And she's going to light you up, honey. She's going to put all your business on Front Street. And we're just going to be taking part of it from week to week to month to month to year to year, honey. So, I don't know. You might need to back off and stop talking about this. these bloggers and these YouTube content creators. And, you know, uh, just anybody trying to clock your tea. Just fall back, honey. Fall back. But basically... I gave y'all a story to partake of. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Did Nene really leak her own tea to a vlogging uh, site? Or did Kenya go on over there to Lil B. Sky or anybody that she could probably leak it to and give that tea up um, up in one up on Nene in a sense. Which it doesn't really make sense. Why would she, you know, give that information out unless... It wanted to show the side that Nene was kind of peeling back the layers and trying to get back with Cynthia on the sly side or on the low side without actually apologizing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where they really going with it. It's neither here nor there with me. But I would love to know what y'all uh, feedback, what y'all would feel 
<sighs> Excuse me. That Nene would have the nerve to clock her own tea and definitely send out her own card, a uh, photo via photograph to a blogging site. I mean, why she just didn't go on social media on her own platforms and just do a video and say, you know, get this to Cynthia, may it go worldwide, may it just, you know, make its way around the universe or whatnot. But I want to just sit out and, and have a little videotape where she can definitely have it for her viewing pleasure and the rest of the world can too and drop her tea like that. That would have made more sense because, I mean, why buy a car when you already don't bought a spread for her to have, even though she should have had her own spread or catered for the people that were coming into her new business adventure and partaking of the different things. Uh, things. She just asked that you bought a bottle, uh, buy a bottle of wine while you celebrate with her. And that was quite fitting, I, I would feel like it would have been but that's all i have for this video guys y'all get down in the comments if you prefer to and let me know what y'all thought and interact with one another as well all right peace and blessings and i will see y'all next video good night bye bye